and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Mother Glinthorn. It's going to kick off our meme tier Monday stream. We got some fun decks. We're going to start with one that we have played before, and then we're going to be going over to three new decks. Um, but we have, to start with, we have War Mother Glinthorn. We got an Orok Glinthorn, a Nivea Swain deck with War Mother's Call. We're going to be trying to ramp into War Mother's Call using like Catalyst of Aeons mostly to ramp. Um, but then, you know, we're going to have our sweepers and a lot of removal. We have Avalanche and Icequake, new sweeper. War Mother's Call putting in all of these cards is going to be pretty awesome. Like, uh, Captain Farron is a summon ability, so if we get Captain Farron from War Mother's Call, we'll just get three Decimates in hand. <clears throat> so that could definitely be really useful. Especially, like, we play War Mother's Call, we get something, and then the next turn, uh, you know, we just get Captain Farron, get the three Decimates, and now we have all of our mana, plus just having some Decimates. Leviathan's a play trigger. It won't just summon Swain, but of course just having Leviathan in play is always awesome. Uh, but then we have our combo here of Anivia and Orok Glinthorn. Uh, basically, you know, Anivia can attack, do one to all enemies. We also have Icequake doing damage to all enemies, Avalanche doing damage to all enemies. So we have some cards that can do damage to all enemies, and then Glinthorn can attack and stun all of those damaged enemies. We also have a Shunpo that can rally. So basically, we can attack with Anivia, do one to all the enemies, and then we can Shunpo, rally, and now all their enemies are damaged, and then we can attack with a Glenhorn and stun them all. So that's what we got. We just compare that with some early removal, a couple of blockers, some um, Nexus healing with the Tavern Keeper, Catalyst of Aeons, and so on. So we're going to just play it over in normal. That's what we do with our meme tier. Monday decks play them in normal. And we're going to be ramping. And we're going to be seeing how it goes. <laughs> hey, Nanyuel. I'm up on the big screen today. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I don't I don't know what that means, Candy Fire. All right, so we're playing against, looks like, Targon Elusives. Um, I think I mulligan the six drops, even though they're both pretty good, and on and the five drop also. I think we had to try to get some uh, cheaper cards to start our game off with. I like the Death's Hand against Zed. Double Catalyst of Aeons is pretty nice. Triple Catalyst of Aeons is kind of crazy. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. So if they play Zed, we play Death Sand. If not, the order okay, we're just going to be playing Catalyst of Aeons. They'll never see us coming. Ramp. I think I'm just still ramping. Ramp all day. Oh, I didn't know that bipolar. Quietly. Um. Okay, over on our turn, I think we're just gonna keep ramping. Well, Ice Quake. I can maybe save something. Hopefully, don't have Deny. No, they had Deny. Yeah, it did kind of look like a Deny prep, didn't it? Ow, 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 ow. Good news, we're still at 11. So, we're still doing pretty fine. Uh, yes, it did actually play an Encroaching Shadows deck. Nothing escapes my watch. <clears throat> and I can try to find that Encroaching Shadows deck for you. How about another round? <clears throat> oh, 
Hopefully this works. Cool. That's going to slow their clock down considerably. Now there's only five elusive damage. For now. I sure hope they don't have Windfarer Hatchling. That's the one card I do not want to see. We can just play Anivia next turn. Hey, got a donation! Thank you so much. Alright, we got a new donation deck. Let's check it out. <laughs> that donation message does look pretty silly. Okay, we're going to... Try this, and... Try this. Okay, all in on Jinx. Cool. Kybra, do you have a day that you would like me to play it? You know, it could be, won't be today, but you know, it can be tomorrow or any other day. Do you have any specific day that you would like me to play uh, your deck? Wednesday, I do the later stream. So. Let's take this outside. So if you have any day that you prefer. This one's trouble. Okay. We will still continue. We'll do two damage again with Avalanche. Just fine. Very all, in all right, two denies are gone from their deck. <clears throat> we know that the Jewel Protector buffed up something, so they're going to have something that's plus three, plus three. Oh, it's just a Jewel Protector. That's great for me. Okay. Anytime. All right, good to know. All right, thank you. Tomorrow we rise anew. We'll get that soon. Artillery barrage. I wish I could play both Swain and Orok Horn. That's not how it works. By my hand will Noxus run. Burn general. They picked the wrong row. So I played the swain they know about. I don't think it really does. Fire! Their units are going to be stunned anyway. No, that was the reason why I didn't play the, the ramp card the turn before anyway, was because of War Mother's Call. So I didn't want to just not have any mana for War Mother's Call. And then. Alright, we got our Avalanche. That card's awesome. Death's Hand, not bad either. But I'm gonna mulligan it. Basically because... Well, I'm, I'm glad we get Death's Hand back. Because, you know, we want to kill Yasuo, so I want to look for things that can kill Yasuo. And plus the, like, Fey Blade, Fey Blade Twirler. Oh, yeah, that's another important one to kill. But Death's Hand just doesn't kill that thing. Try to keep up. Okay. 
I don't think they can stun their own thing. I liked last game whenever we had lots of uh, Catalyst of Aeons. That was pretty nice. We'll still be able to save three spell mana. Alright, two for one to ourselves, but we got Yasuo out of here. It's important. Yay, Catalyst of Aeons. Wow. They still passed. They probably just have a whole bunch of like stun and recall. Here in your time of need. But might as well play them. War Mother's Call and Orak Lenhorn. Let the bloodshed begin. Avalanche. Why is everybody playing deny these days? Let's deal with that. Probably figure it out. Take their land, bury them in it. Let's soar. Attack. Sure. So we just got two cards out of their hand for nothing. <laughs> you know, just for for the turn that I was supposed to attack. Let the blood begin. So that's just fine. I'm just going to let them attack with Katarina. That's fine. They can do four and put it back in their hand. Katarina's already leveled up anyway. They basically have four mana decimate. I have five mana decimate. There's cheaper. Alright, GG's. We're 2 0. Until our paths cross once more. Yeah, they, they realize that they had a lot of damage there. So yeah, meme tier day, we just play in normal, so our, our records are a little bit better than being in ranked, but still doing good. 2-0. Looks like we're going to play against some aggro. We got some blockers, some ramp, and a really good sweeper that kills Elise. I have my orders. Highly Tavern Keeper wouldn't be too bad. Try to help keep our life total high. Escapes my watch. Um. This deck is very aggressive. Look out for reavers. Alert the village. That's a good one. You know, if they, like, go to attacks, like, worst-case scenario, I would still have, like, the Death's Hand available. Alright, three for one we will take. I won't get too greedy with it. There we go. Glad we didn't get too greedy with it. No, nope, not yet. This'll take the chill off. Tavern Keeper. Yeah. That's game. 
They know that the, the writing's on the wall. They needed to get ahead early. Just all spells. So we, we've gotten pretty fortunate the last two games. We had the Yasuo opponent that basically just had all spells and didn't really do very much the whole time. And then we had that opponent like where we just drew top deck that Avalanche, which was perfect. And then the game was basically over after that. Um, all right, so Karma Ezreal, definitely want Catalyst. I, I could see keeping Captain Farron just to have like a real big threat, but um, we're going to mulligan because I'd rather kind of have War Mother's Call. So, and just more Catalyst of Aeons. That's really what we want to find is just more Catalysts. Yeah, then our first game we had the Triple Catalyst. That was amazing. Got to this. So we got one Don't catalyst. Or you miss me. Watch and learn. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Uh Devil says that that's true. With our meme tier Monday decks, if we do go four and O oh in normal, then we go for the five of we go take it over to rank. Instead of doing the fifth game in normal. See the Devastian border from here. So we got so if we win this one, we're going over to ranked for the last one. That sounds good. I don't miss. Now if you know if they have like deny, don't let you know make them deny here where they have to you know not not be able to use the extra mana that they were going to um, waste anyway. Draw War Mother's Call. By my hat, the Noxus rise. I hope they don't have the seven mana six six stun a couple of things. Cool. Yone. Snow, wind, and ice. Another Culling Strike for Ezreal, which is great. Karma, we don't have a real good answer to unless we can get a, a damage on Karma with an Anivia attack. Face me. Empire, battle by battle. I've taught you well, my boy. Probably an argument to do it. No. Don't use it? Okay. Yeah, good thing I didn't use it. Now we have 12 mana for War Mother's Call. Sure hope they don't kill my Anivia right here. Oh, that's unfortunate. But War Mother's Call. Come on, Leviathan. 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 Take the chill off. Worst card. The absolute worst card to hit. I say the good news is we can't hit very many more of those. <laughs> it's only because <laughs> we have one in hand. Cool, that's a damage spell to get some damage on Karma. Let's level up the Swain. <clears throat> yeah, you surprised me too. This 
Swain's at 2 out of 12. We need 10 damage. Recall an ally? Take time to care for others. No. I was about to tavern keeper that. I have two Swain's Ravenous Flocks in hand. Leave your bags in the door. Know your enemy. Crush them. You cannot win. Yeah, they're forced to retreat temporarily. We did we have killed two. Ezreal's. Ouch, that hurts. We have killed two Ezreal's, but the problem is, is Karma. That was just a waste of a card. That's just gonna die. So thank you for spending mana for doing nothing. I appreciate it. <laughs> and then the... Oh, the surrender. The shame can that last game. We are 4 and 0. Oh. Let's go take it on over to ranked and we'll see if we can finish up the 5 0 oh in ranked. We'll see if it's good enough. All right, we got another big deck with Trundle, Aurelian Soul. We need ramp. Ramp. No. I need Catalyst of Aeons. Wow, this is not a good hand. These four cards are not good. Man, none of those four cards matter. There we go. There's a card that matters. I kept... I'm keeping Culling Strike because of the 0-4. That's why we're keeping Culling Strike. Now we hunt. Sure. Okay, they have the O4. Gotta kill that. What did you find? Leave your bags in the door. Okay, so we can. Just not sure how I want to. Not sure how I want to deal with this. Okay, so I guess yeah, we gotta kill that thing now. Ugh, these O fours. Snow, wind, and ice. That's just the way it is. There you are. Strike them down. I'm going to be using Guillotine and killing Trundle and Weirding Stones. So we're trading a Nivea and Guillotine for their two drop Trundle and Weirding Stones. I'm going to do Trundle first in case they go like Tavern Keeper, heal, the, heal their Weirding Stones. Well, these are not, you know, we you do, don't really need Icequake or Avalanche in this matchup. Come back, 
They're playing a bunch of their own ice quakes and avalanches. Didn't mulligan too well. We have a we had a couple of good cards. I would love to play War Mother's Call right now. Definitely what we need to draw. War Mother's Call to try to keep up with our power level. We're just getting so much of like these anti-aggro cards that we just don't need in this matchup. Fortunately drew the wrong half of our deck. I'm hoping this won't be stunned anymore, this Anivia. Used you earlier, Ramp, but we don't need you anymore. Snow, wind, and ice. No, Grace Claw, I'm playing it in ranked right now. We we went 4 0, so we're playing it in ranked. That's how it works. Escapes my watch. Teeth niggas tombstones. Trying to take down this Aurelian soul slowly. Win or lose, we're doing a lot better than you would think against a meta deck. Yeah, we're, we're I mean, we're kind of hanging in there. I guess they have just a ton of cards and they have an Aurelian Soul in play, so I don't really know how much we're actually hanging in there. Plus all of their units have plus two, plus two now. But we're trying. <clears throat> if we can find War Mother's Call, you know, maybe. Especially, like, Captain Farron also, or like War Mother's Call finding Captain Farron. Maybe. We did get to kill an Aurelian Soul. Okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah, those are two clutch draws there, weren't they? The Ravenous Flock into the War Mother's Call. Because now this thing, you know, this thing costing one mana, they don't have like 10 to play another Aurelian Soul. Such little life. All right, so we have Swain on this one. Next one will hit like Leviathan. Fear the power or again, Captain Farron. Do they just not attack? Their they just didn't attack. Oh! 
I don't think they're going to go straight to combat. I think we're going to be able to play the Ice Quake this next turn. Can see the Debastian border from here. My, how they stare. Is the minus three, so they would have had seven and twelve. So it would have been nineteen, I guess. Oh, the minus three, but nineteen. Maybe it would have. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I forgot about that part. But I don't think that's going to be the difference between winning or losing. If I would have kept them from leveling up from one turn. <laughs> I don't think that would have been the, the difference between winning or losing. Alright, but there we go. War Mother Glenhorn. Celestials. Celestials are silly. <laughs> I think those cards are a little bit more powerful than Aura Glenhorn. Um... You know, again, Orak Landhorn's kind of a fun card to play. It's still... I mean, we went 4-1, and one, so I, I can't really talk too much, too bad about it. But the, the Glinthorn wasn't really why we went 4-1. and one. It was just a generic 6-mana six 6-6 six, six for the most part. Um, but, you know, Swain, Anivia, Captain Farron, Leviathan, those were all pretty good. Um, and War Mother's Call with all those things. I did like Ice Quake. I think that was a, a nice upgrade to the deck, having uh, Ice Quake now. I like that card quite a bit, um, but obviously like Avalanche and Catalyst of Aeons is really what this deck is built on, these two cards. So there we go. Good start to Meme Tier Monday, um, and we're going to be coming back with some more crazy decks. Uh, yeah, we, we did not, that is true, we, we, uh, we did draw the wrong half of the deck early in that matchup, you know, drawing multiple tavern keepers and avalanches and then having our harsh winds having our shunpo um having one maybe two ice quakes definitely not the cards that we need we need ramp and threats and those are all the opposite all right but anyway uh those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i'd really appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video